hi book friends welcome back my name is lexa if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by so for today's video is really exciting because i really have a strong connection to books published in the 70s and if you can guess why then you're my best friend already like you're my best friend already but let me give you a chance you know to hear out why i am so connected to books published in the 70s so of late i've been so curious about how things were back in the day what kind of uh, writing was you know going on what kind of books were selling the literature the publishing and all that i am so curious about it and i thought best let me uh you know to make a video about the books published in the 70s now before we go any further i'm not sure if my list is full so these are just uh some that i came across and i thought let me make a video and share with my friends and then without forgetting i also have a very strong connection to the 70s because this is when this is when mm, my favorite author <laughs> made it to the books this is when major mwangi major mwangi if you know me you know you know you know you know you know i am so obsessed with major mwangi so this is the year this is the year major released four books this is the year he you know he he put himself out of the world and he won an award this any during during this 70s he won i think two awards and during his 70s he released four books so i'll mention them as i keep on telling you about other books and i am so so happy that you're here and you're going to learn more about some books maybe that you've never had before or you've had and you really like you know to share anything more that i miss out on this video so make sure you add more books on the comment section if i forget to list them because my list has almost 15 books or i think 20 so if i miss out any please do and yeah <laughs> i'll do my best to share the best right, so in the 70s if you compare publications in the 70s and in the 60s there were a lot of books that were released in the 70s i'm still not sure why but so so many authors wrote in the 70s like you could get two books being published in the same year or three or four and they are very amazing books that were making to the papers they were sold being sold internationally and they are just amazing literature if i could be able to go back into time and just be there when these amazing authors are releasing their books it could be just a wonder to me but anyways i'm so happy that i'm get, i'm getting to learn about them every day every day getting more getting more knowledge about them so yeah please mind the lighting all right so i have a list here i have a list here so don't mind me if i keep on looking down because sija kram with abuzote there with me all right so i start with 1971 so i have three books uh here if there's any other that was published in the 71 that i haven't mentioned please do as i have asked you earlier on add it on the comment section below for others who are coming by to watch and learn so the first one is the villager's son by asenath bole odaga the second one is is it possible by henry olepilet may his soul rest in peace we lost him just a few months ago and then the other one, one the other one is son of woman by charles mongua we also lost this author as, as a month about a month ago or two so yeah those are the three books I came across that were published in 1971. In 1972, I have like around four books. The first one is Mary Making by Charity Washiuma. Now, something interesting about Charity Washiuma, she was one of the female authors that were first published in English in Kenya. So it was Charity Washiuma and Grace Ogoth. Both of them were published in English. The first female authors and that was in the 60s i guess when uh charity released her book daughter of mumbi and grace of god uh released i think was it the land without thunder or promised land either of our first books so 
that's something very special about charity of Ashiyuma. Then the second book in, that was published in 1972 was The Hunter by Henry Oleklet. Now, so after his first book, is it possible? Uh, is it possible? And then in the, the year after, he released another book, The Hunter by Henry Oleklet. And what I really love about these books by Henry Oleklet are the cover designs. He was using real pictures, which was so effortless, like they're really, really amazing. And I loved it. He was really portraying the Maasai, Maasai culture in his books and also his cover designs. And then the third book is Potent Ash by Leonard Kibera and Samuel Kahiga. So I'm told these two were brothers. And Potent Ash is a collection of other stories. So Potent Ash is a story inside that book, that anthology. Then the third one is Ma the fourth one, sorry, Murder in Majengo by Olothe Mark. Go Marjorie, 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 or the Macgoy. All right. So where can you get these books? I know you you want to ask that question in the long run. So I'm not really sure where to get all of them. But if you really want to, you know, to get Kenyan classics, please visit Cheche Bookstore. They have stock very good books, very good Kenyan classics, and that easy to find like that store is where to go when you're looking for kenyan classics but you could also try to order from other stores like make an order and ask them to you know excuse me <clears throat> you could ask them to find them for you all right so we're done with 1972 add another book in the comment section that you know was published in the 1972 so 1973 1973 can you guess where i'm smiling <laughs> yes 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 all right so this is the year let me add my volume this is the year this is the year major major was a major deal major released his first book he released his first book kill me quick no this is not the original cover the original cover is this so Major Mwangi, he made it to the papers. This book won him an award, the Jomo Kenyatta Literature Prize, Prize of Literature, Literature Prize. And yeah, a year after, and I am um, like, I really, okay, I'll just talk about him another day. Let me not be biased on this video. So, 1973. All right, and then there's another book which was released. 1973 by a beautiful african female author who was first written in her first book was published in english is charity was humor who's calling who's calling i haven't had the chance to you know get a copy of some of the books and then another one is what a life by Mwangi ruheni and then the other one is sons of sango by yuda komora so something that's really standing out with these titles, with these titles, it's so special, like, the, special, the, the titles were just effortless, like, you don't have to ponder so much on them, they were so catchy, like, right to the point, kill me quick, who's calling, is it possible, this is such kind of titles, were so, so simple, so, so simple, like, life was made very easy all right so let's move on to the next year that's 1974 and also this is a very special year because major released another book and that is crackers for hounds and then the other book is after 4 30 by david mailu now i've been really looking for this book so if you have any leads to where i can find it after 4 30 by david mailu or any other books by him i'll really really appreciate and then the other book is what does man want <laughs> i really love these titles like i so so love them what does a man want by mudoni likimani and also the same same year she released another book they shall be chastised so this is a, also a crime novel i didn't get a chance to read it also if you have any leads where to where I can find them, please send them my way. Now let's move on to the other year, 1975. 1975. Now, the first one is Love in the Sky by Samuel Kahiga, the brother to 
the brother to what's his name leonard kibera now he released his own book and then the other one is sugar daddy's lover by rosemary owino and then the other one is three men from pretoria by hillary Nguyeno. now this i think is a crime novel so i'm hoping these books will also come in handy during the kenyan readathon that is going to happen in september so if you didn't get a chance to participate last year this year it will come to be better i'm hoping more people will join in to read with us kenyan works and i would also love you to also read our classics all right so we are done in 1975 so let's move on to 1976 now, if you can guess why I'm smiling. <laughs> Again, this is the year Major Mwangi released another book, another book. And guess what? The very well-known mm, Going Down a River Road. Going Down a River Road. If you're in Nairobi, <laughs> if you're in Nairobi, you all know this street, Going Down River Road. So this text, this book is a must read. If you're a Kenyan and if you haven't read this book, I don't know what joy this is pure happiness pure like pure joy very easy to read from the few reviews i get uh, from other people enthusiastic about major they say his books are really easy going like he writes the way we speak so so simple to read all right let's move on to the other book the love route by mwangi ruheni the love route and then daughter of my people sing by misery guitar and then the trial of dead and kimathi by ngugi was Fiongo, and the other woman by grace ogot betrayal in the city by francis imbuga all right so this year there were so many books being released in 1976 and as you can see these books still are still very amazing till death the other woman Betrayal in the City, which was a set text during my high school times. I'm talking as if it was a very long time ago. <laughs> but see, Kitambo, we read him. I don't know why people are not reading Francis again in high school. And I don't know why people are not reading Major Mwangi in high school. Like, I really wish these books could be adapted into a curriculum. Actually, our classics, all of them, should just be thrown into high school kids. Let them grow up reading our classics and know how our literature has advanced how our literature has really grown so we are done with 1976 now let's move on to 1977 so there is petals of blood by mzengugi wakiongo and then i will marry when i want by nguge so i just found only those two books published in 1977 I'm so sad major did not release a book that year but anyways <laughs> we were up for another adventure like alikuwa mepea readers wake kionjo we were just getting a test of who really major was so yeah so i've so far I've mentioned three books all right let's move on maybe he released another book in 1979 or 1978 you never know so let's go on all right i have missed out a book please forgive me there's a book published in sorry sorry to mention it in 1975 this is a girl cannot go on laughing all the time yeah <laughs> by magaga a lot so this was published in 1979 i just got my copy from cheche bookstore and guess what guess what the book is only 57 pages 57 pages now i think i'll do a video about a uh, quick kenyan read that you can read during your work break or in the evening or in the weekend you could even read 10 kenyan books a weekend because considering this book is only 57 pages and it's a classic published in 1975 also the other one for rosemary Ilea, sugar daddy's lover is also as tiny as this and i really appreciate this publishers peer books i don't know if nowadays you could probably you could approach a publisher to publish a book for you with what uh 57 pages and call it a novel i don't know if uh publishers or sai can do that if they can i'd really be so happy because i know there are so many creatives who cannot go past writing 
57 pages because you know the story is just as good as that and so far i love this book like everyone should read it it is set in nairobi like i cannot go on laughing all the time i'm not supposed to go on laughing all the time literally this title this this title is a masterpiece all right so we were done with 1977 pages of blood and i will marry when i want by ngogi in 1978 i didn't get a book honestly but if i come across them be sure i'll add them maybe i'll mention them on my next videos but please bear with me for 1978 i'll do more homework all right then 1979 major Major had kept it so long since 1976 no book 19 okay 1977 no book 1978 no book major umenda wapi like his readers were like we need more major like what have you done to us kick kill me quick carcass for hounds going down river road and that's it that's what he released <laughs> the cockroach dance now, this book this book is amazing this book is amazing it was a group it was our group read during the kenyan readathon that happened last year in september i don't know what we're going to read this year as our group read so if you have any suggestions i'm giving you a chance you know to choose a book that you'd like us to read during the a group read during the kenyan readathon so the first book that i got that was published in 1979 was the cockroach dance and then the other one is across the bridge by mwangi gisheru now also if you've noticed this author was also using real pictures on on his cover books like he was just taking a pro a portrait of a lady or someone else or something and just place them on their book covers which i really find so interesting so good me, I'd really wish someone to use my picture on the cover photo. I, I if 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 it still happens, still dead, is there someone I'm ready to be on their cover book, even if it's Major Mwangi? If you see him somewhere, just tell him I'd love to be. <laughs> even if it's a small picture illustration of me, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be so. My head will be so full. But anyways, let's move on. Okay, Major. Major did not come to play. He released another book called The Bush Trackers. Now, I don't have a copy of it, but I wish I could get it. I really wish. So, guys, thank you so much for going with me through the 70s from 71 to 79. I hope you learned. I hope you got some few titles that will make you, you know, Go into the bookshop and you know pick one or so but remember the bookstore to go to is jj books they have kenyan classics they have and they're very cheap the books are very very affordable kenyan books are so affordable buy kenya build kenya support kenya and all that so until my next video i'd also like you to ask uh, you know to share with me which kind of videos you'd like me to make I'm hopeful to make books published in the 80s and in the 60s and in the 90s. So please stick around and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Have a good time.